Hey YouTube, this is one only GI Nerd Commander here with a quick review of Commander Gree from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith uh, Vintage Collection. Um, no, I'm, personally, I'm not a big fan of the whole uh, Clone Wars, um, the, the Clone Trooper uh, attire, I should say. But uh, I made an exception for this guy because... He, I don't know, there's something about him that just it, it caught my attention and I decided to pick him up. So uh, let's start with what he comes with. Uh, this really cool pair of them. Um, they're kind of slightly bulky. But uh, they are movie accurate uh, binoculars. Pretty cool. I really like them. Um, <clears throat> and who knows, maybe they could also be used for something else. If you didn't even want to use them as binoculars, you probably just set it up somewhere and... Uh, who knows, it could be an explosive, um, could be just some kind of computer, whatever, who knows, but I think it looks really cool, and, uh, I liked it, and, of course, the only other one thing that it comes with, the pretty standard, uh, Star Wars blaster pistol, so, there we go, alright, now let's get to the figure itself, uh, the main thing that, that drew my attention to this figure was the uh, paint detail, especially in the um, the camouflage uh, that comes on the uh, his attire here, looks really really great. Um, lots of weathering throughout it as well, um, and the weathering goes you know all the way from uh, the top of the helmet uh, throughout the entire body sculpt. So looks really great. Uh, cool uh, little backpack attachment here with a little antenna. I like that. I like it a lot. So. Uh, Let's try to get as that's about probably about as close as I can get um, without my camera messing up too much. Um, but hopefully you can kind of see the different uh, foresty type colors that are throughout Commander Gree here. Uh, what I assume is standard articulation for clone troopers. Um, I didn't really. It, 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 um, they, they do have the uh, the I, w I guess double jointed um, wrist articulation where you can you know swivel and also go up and down, but he's really hampered because he just seems really bulky. Um, after later kind of uh, playing around with the stormtrooper more, I noticed. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the review or not, but the, uh, the, no, I think I did. I think I did say that it's pretty fluid motion. And, um, you know, his arms seem to be able to move any which way possible. But with, uh, this figure, um, I don't know if maybe it's an older arm sculpt or not, but they don't seem to quite want to go, um, as far as the other one. So that was kind of disappointing. Uh, and the chest, uh, rotation seems like there really isn't any, but that's really not a huge deal for me when it comes to this figure, because I just bought him as kind of the novelty of just that he looked cool, so, all in all, um, his, his look way out, for me, outweighs any articulation problems they might have. Also, does have the, uh, other double-jointed wrist over here, but it doesn't really want to work too well. Okay, there we go. So that'll probably help him hold his uh, binoculars up. So, kind of cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a quick look underneath of the helmet here. Uh, try to get a close-up real quick. Um, not actually a huge fan of um, coloring on the helmet itself. It has sort of... Um, brighter green colors on it, which I'm not really digging. And actually, the first time I took off the helmet and I looked at the head sculpt, I thought it looked really lame. It looked really generic. But, <coughs> excuse me one moment. Sorry, YouTube, I have a bit of a sore throat and it's <clears throat> acting up at an inopportune time. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, when I first saw it, it looked really generic. Look really uh, bland, really plain. But actually, when I, I took the helmet off, left off for a little while, I'm actually really liking it. And I think it would make kind of a cool uh, G.I. Joe 
um, Jungle Scout for my Joe team. So, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize for that. Boy, got a bit of a dry throat. My throat be all dry. My drink ain't helping it. So, <coughs> oh boy, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so the head sculpt itself looks really generic, but um, it's really grown on me, and I actually really like it. And I really like uh, his look like this without the helmet. So we're just going to ditch the helmet. Excuse me one more time here. <coughs> oh, boy. Ooh, I apologize for that, YouTube. I'm actually just getting over the uh, flu for the third time in a month, so. Yeah, I have no luck at all. Believe me. So, all in all, really cool figure. Um, I actually like him a lot better without the helmet. And um, I'm actually really glad I picked him up. So, I would definitely recommend, if you can find him, which I'm sure you'll be able to, uh, getting him. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate. And do all the other stuff that anybody else has a YouTube channel beg you to do. So, oh, I do actually have one more complaint. He smells bad. This figure smells like fried noodles. I kid you not. That he when I opened up the package, he has an odor to him. You can I don't I will obviously you can't smell it through the camera itself, but this figure smells funny. He smells like the oil that you would fry something in. And, or fried noodles. <coughs> you stink, Commander. You stink. So thank you for watching. This has been GI Nerd Commander, and thanks. Goodbye now.